almost done. Kinda. And there is a release date. If you don't want to miss that, then keep on watching the video until the end. But time is rare, so let's get started. 1909 games. Let's make games. Hey, welcome back to the devlog of Meatlust. If you haven't already, then please subscribe to the channel, that would help a lot. Thank you! And if you haven't seen the other videos, here in the info box you can watch the playlist. The first thing I want to talk about is the menu. As you can see, I now have a mouse sensitivity slider. I didn't thought that I would need something like that in the small game like this one, until I saw my wife playing the game and yeah, the game need a mouse sensitivity slider. I can quickly show you the difference. That makes a huge difference, right? I didn't realize that big issue so long because my mouse itself have four different sensitivity modes. And when we talk about the mouse, I changed the cursor from that not fitting default cursor to this thing? I'm not really sure if I want to keep it like this, but it is better than before, I guess. Then I made a loading screen. That is pretty important since there is nothing more annoying than clicking a button and nothing is happening. No response. Did I even click the button? So that was a big point for me and I'm pretty happy with the result. It is pretty simple but looks nice. So that's it. In game I want to have a little menu. Like when you press escape you should be able to resume go back to the menu and be able to adjust the mouse sensitivity as well. You should not need to go back to the menu to do that, since there will be no saving system. That would be a pain anyway. <laughs> because then you would have restart the whole game and that's not good, but that will be it for the UI stuff. There will be no more, because I want to keep the scene as clean as possible, especially in a horror game. UI elements in the game scene itself would distract the player from being scared, right? I just told you that there will be no saving system, right? That is a pain when it comes to testing the game, because I could not load different levels. That is why I just made some easy level switching. When pressing some buttons, then we will load some levels. But that will not be in the final version, because I don't want the player to skip the levels too easy. From the level 7 and level 8, I finished the mechanics. Now you cannot just walk straight to the end of the level, but you have to make sure you find stuff and repair stuff. For level 7 there is enough response for finding the right thing. But level 8 needs some more response if you repair part of the machine. I want to make it a little light switching on after repairing, but at all the mechanics are working as they're supposed to. Going back some levels, to be precise, to the first level, <laughs> I implemented the missing storylines. Welcome to our little game. We have a really easy task for you. Find the bunker. And that is everything that I need to do in this level. I guess this one is finished, but as always, I will find stuff to improve, so we will see. What I'm missing are the cameras and speakers in every level, where the voice will be, you know, coming from. In some levels there are already some, but in the most levels they are missing. So that's on my to-do list. And there is a problem with some objects in the game. They are not affected by the light. Just by the flashlight light. But that looks so weird. I don't know why that is, but it is annoying. As far as I can see, this problem just appears in one level. So the worst case scenario is that I have to change every object manually. I hope I will find another solution. It would not take too much time, but it would be kind of annoying work But no something great, my cousin is making some music for the game. 
and that is awesome. I kind of like the music for the safe room before. You're getting closer, but we can't go on playing because of our factory's machine is broken. Try to repair it. But I'm not 100% happy. No, I just have to bring it in the game. And here's a little preview. thing to improve is maybe the last level. I'm not sure. I like it so far, but the corridors are too big. Maybe I need to make them a little bit more like a maze and that you feel claustrophobic. So smaller corridors, that would make it, well, harder and I guess it would make the level better, especially for the last level. I thought it is good if it is so big and it looks, you know, like a last level, a big level and so on, but it is not really big and it is just boring, I guess. So yeah, I guess I have to redo that one. And the biggest thing I have to do is to improve the lightning. That's something I say in every episode, but that is so important. But to be honest, that will be the last thing I want to do because I will make some little changes to the levels anyway and I don't want to start over again all the time. And as promised, the release date. The 9th of May. So there are just two and a half weeks left and so much still to do. But I will make it. It will be released on itch.io for as little as $5. I hope you will enjoy playing the game. But also for the itch page we need text, we need pictures, we need a video, a trailer and so on. So there's a lot left to do. But that's it for today. If you don't want to miss future game dev related content, please hit the subscribe button and like the video. I hope I see you next time. Bye!